I will show you some features on our Basket tutoring platform. Do note that you have to use Google Chrome or Firefox to access our Basket tutoring webpage. Before every session, you will need to download the class file of that session. Make sure that the name of the file does not have any special characters and is in PDF format. Do take note that you have to upload the file 5 minutes before the session starts. So after downloading the file, enter the session. First, upload the PDF file that you have downloaded just now. Find the file on your computer and upload the file. You will see that it's uploading and there is a file uploaded successfully icon. So go to files and then click on the PDF. It will be uploaded on the slide. So you can navigate the slides with the arrows at the bottom. Next, there are some features that can help you with your tutoring. First, pen tool. You can draw on the slides to underline for your students be, to be able to see what you're trying to say. There is also the shape tool for you to square the words up for them to read. You can choose the shapes and the colors below. Next, the text tool. So click onto the screen and type a word and press tick. It will be shown onto the slide. Next, after you finish everything, you can use the eraser tool to erase everything or you can use the delete button to delete all the shapes that you have written on the slide. You can also use the laser pen to help in your teaching. The laser pen allows your student to see your cursor. So if your student happens to be drawing onto the slide and disturbing the session, you can close their brush so that they will not be able to use the brush during your session. Next, I will show you the rewards function. On the right hand side, you will see a star function. So if you think that your student has done well, you can give them a reward to reward them for answering the question correctly. You can choose any of the three. There are five rewards per session. So you have to give moderately throughout the session. Next, I'll introduce to you the message function and the attendee function. So the message function you can use with the face emoji or you can put photos or drag photos in to allow your students to see it. You can also use the message function when your student cannot hear you during a session. Next, the attendee column. When you enter the session, remember to look out for your student's name at the attendee column. Click onto their video camera to open their camera and you'll see them here. So you can off their camera or on their camera and off and on their mic here. And it's the same for your own camera and mic. Next, I'll introduce to you the cancellation policy. If your time difference is more than 12 hours from baiting time, you have to cancel at least one day prior to the session start. If your time difference is less than 12 hours, you have to cancel at least 4 hours prior to the session start. When you want to exit the class, just click on the logout sign and quit the classroom. Here are 5 features of the calendar function on the basket side. First, log on to your basket account. Click on the calendar on the top right hand side. Select the date and time that you want. And once you're done, click save. Number 2. Select multiple dates. Click on all the dates that you wish to have available slots. In this case, I've selected all weekdays. Select all the timings that you wish to open up slots. Number 3. Modifying your existing availability. For example, if you realize that you can't make it for a particular day that you've already indicated available, click on the date and uncheck all the boxes and click save. Number 4. Setting weekly maximum number of sessions. Click on the arrow and set the maximum number of sessions you wish to take on weekdays and weekends respectively. If you have no preference, select low limit. After this, select save. Number 5. Switching of time zone. If you wish to change to a time zone that matches the one that you are in right now, select switch on the top right corner. Type the time zone that you want and confirm it by clicking select. Now I'll go through how to use the sub feature on our basket account. First, click on upcoming session. Then cancel a session that you are not available on. Then a pop-up will appear with the information of the session you just cancelled with the URL for other tutors to claim the session. Copy the text and share it to our basket chat group. Please take note that all the sub requests are in the local time of the tutor who cancelled and requested for a sub. Next, here are two ways where you can sub for a session. First, find a session that you wish to sub and confirm that you wish to sub the session. Do note that only tutors who have successfully sub for a session will receive a notification for that session. 
The second method. When you see a fellow tutor requesting for a sub in a basket chat group, click into the URL that allows you to claim the session. Check that it is a session you want to sub for and that the time zone is in your local time. Finally, confirm your request. Do note that only tutors who have successfully sub for a session will receive a notification for that session. That's all you need to know for the sub feature. Feel free to approach any basket staff if you encounter any problems.